So you're in Photoshop, imagine being able to AI upscale or enhance your images using the Topaz suite of programs. Well, there's actually an easy plugin that comes when you install it. So we're gonna show you how that works right now. So I've got this photo open I took a while ago and I wanna upscale it. And essentially I have installed Topaz Gigapixel and the Topaz Photo AI suite with all the image plugins. And I'm gonna show you how this works. If I go to file and automate, there's now this Topaz Gigapixel option here that I can use. I click on that. And now Topaz Gigapixel has opened. And you'll notice we have all the usual options. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but I can simply cancel or apply and actually apply this to my image. You can see here, I can actually view the current upscale. I can actually divide it into four. I can see which one actually looks the best, which model, the standard, the lines, low resolution, Art and CG standard seems to be the best so far, but I can also move to an area over here and zoom in. And it's clear that standard is producing the best results. So I simply go down to apply and I can play with any of these settings. It'll process. And now my image is absolutely gigantic. It was 2000 pixels wide. It is now 12,000 pixels wide. And I've actually got a few layers here. So I can zoom in, see the original and see the new. So I can compare the two right there. So you can see what a great job it's done. By the way, if you want to check out all the settings of Gigapixel, there's a video I will put at the end of this one that you can check out. But look at that. I've been able to upscale this image and make it absolutely gigantic. And um, I've actually had to size this image down because I can make it bigger, but it would have taken too long because it does take a while to upscale. So if you have an image like the original I had was actually 6,000. I could make it 36,000 pixels, I think, or uh, I think there may be a limit, but pretty nifty little feature. But I can also access the other elements of Topaz. So if I go up here to filter and down to Topaz Labs, I have three filters here. At the moment, this picture is quite noisy. So I'm going to go to Topaz Denoise. Once again, you can see how much noise is removed from the photo. So I can actually try different models again. As I click through them, I can preview them. But it looks like standard is the best. So we'll stick with standard. I can play with these settings again. Once again, I have a video on this. I will link to it in the description. Hit apply. It will process the image. So you can see how much cleaner the image is by moving around. And if I hit undo or I zoom in here and hit undo, you can reintroduce the noise and see just how good it is. So a pretty awesome job using AI to denoise this image and introduce some of that detail and clean it up. This next image is a little bit blurry and a little bit noisy. So what I can do is go to Filter, Topaz Labs, and Sharpen. Now this has sharpened a little bit, but there's still a bit of noise. But I actually have all these other models here that I can try. So once again, I'm gonna to go to the four square view. And none of these are really exactly what I want, but what I can do is click on this motion blur here. And I'm gonna choose out of focus, very noisy. And I can suppress the noise. I can now click on this one as well if I wanna check that out. Too soft, very noisy, and it has sharpened it a bit. I'm gonna apply out of focus, very noisy. And for this particular image, because it is noisy as well, it's having a little bit of trouble producing something good. But you can see the difference. It has sharpened it up just a little bit, but nothing too insane. Now, if this image was blurry and not noisy, I could probably do something better with it. But instead, what I'm gonna do is gonna to go to Filter, Topaz Labs, and Photo AI. If you purchase Photo AI, you get all of these programs, the full suite. So it's a pretty powerful program. And before I've done anything, it's actually removed the noise and kind of sharpened the photo a little bit because I have all these different options here. I can also upscale it. However, I actually can't do it from the Photoshop plugin. I have to use the Photo AI standalone plugin, but if I use Gigapixel, I can go and upscale this after or before, but I can choose to sharpen it as well. I can bring the strength up to see what I, how far I can go with it. That's a little bit too crazy. So I knock it back, bring the clarity up, you see it's already looking pretty good. And I can go into my remove noise here and play with that as well. So I wanna bump that up as well as bring detail. And that's looking a lot better. So I'm gonna to save to Photoshop. And now I have enhanced this image pretty well. I can compare it by using undo. So it looks a lot better. And then of course, if I want to, I can go up again to file, automate, Topaz Gigapixel AI. I check my different models, I compare the two, and you can see how I've even further enhanced this image by upscaling it. I click apply, and you can see how much the image has improved. And this was after it was sharpened, this is after it's been upscaled. So that is a pretty powerful tool for any Photoshop user. It does a great job with hair and fur, and although it's not 100% perfect, if you're looking to produce high resolution images for print or for whatever reason, 
Topaz is a great solution for Photoshop users, and it even has good a good standalone program which you can actually convert images in bulk. So it's a great time saver for enhancing images for Photoshop use. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out Topaz, there's a link in the description. Otherwise, uh, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like, and uh, hope you have a great day. See you next time.